what's up you guys how's it going how's it going how's it going happy thursday hope you guys are having a tremendous week so far hope you're on track with your results with your goals hope you're rocking and rolling this week uh, i'm trying out a new mic so i'm hoping this thing is gonna work and you're actually gonna be able to hear me okay um, if not just give me a shout in the comments now if you're watching a replay of this please stick hashtag replay into the comments uh, so this way I know who watched the replay and who watched the live version of this and uh, of course if you're watching this live you know give me a shout out hey Anna hey Rita uh, fantastic fantastic I'm glad you guys can hear me okay so today I wanted to talk to you about dream versus income cycle right this is something that again for me personally it's super 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 important uh, you know because if you don't think about it or if you don't know about it very often uh, you might use some mistakes etc so hey Natalie thanks for watching all right so first of all we've got the dream cycle right so what is the dream cycle well dream cycle hey Joanna uh, the dream cycle is basically um, all the things we want in life right so um, stick in the comments what would you say uh, what would you like to have in your ideal life I'll start off with some things and then I can see in the comments what you guys are uh, mentioning. So I'll start maybe with a house, right? Most people would like to have a house in their dream life, right? In the ideal scenario in their life, they'd like to have a house. And here in UK, um, a decent house is about what? About maybe 500,000 pounds, right? Something like that, right? A, a great house. Maybe we also, if you're driving, maybe in your ideal life, you'd like to have a dream car right so how much uh, okay I see you Anna says I want to have a house ever says travel all right so so a car how much would ideal car would be well let's say a good car about 50k right I'm not going like to Ferraris etc but a pretty decent car you probably can get for about 50 grand you know up to a hundred grand except depending what car you want right travel right okay let's say you want to travel every single year maybe three times a year so again you're looking at about I don't know roughly maybe about 10k a year for traveling right I mean you could spend a lot more than that but that's I'm being pretty conservative right anything else anything else you would say uh, you'd need to have in your ideal life right anything else whatever you would like I I'll put maybe uh, education right so education for your children maybe you know and again I don't know how much it costs you know but let's say uh, we'll do uh, let's do 10,000 a year right it could be a lot more uh, it could be less depending again where you're educating your children etc right what else what else would we have like oh okay maybe at home we would like to have some gadgets and things like brand new TVs and sound systems and things like that so let's just put uh, electronics and let's put another maybe 10k for that you know a, a decent TV or maybe a decent sound system and things like that right what else what else would people need in their life to have idea life you know drop me some ideas drop me some ideas what else would you say you'd like to have in your idea life right and anything else anything else you'd like to have right so so far we're on 550 560 570 580 thousand pounds anything else guys anything else so so far we're on 580 thousand pounds right so that's our dream cycle right so again I'm just doing it very quickly right obviously if you're uh, if you wanted to do your ideal dream life you know everything you'd like to have in your dream I'm sure you would list a lot more different things right but this is a, 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 a small example right so a dream cycle that is 580,000 pounds right now on the right side we have the income cycle your income cycle is basically the money you earn in your job let's say right so if somebody is working uh, a full-time job I don't know in the UK what's the average let's be generous and let's say 30,000 pounds a year right hey Lara right so 30,000 pounds a year income, right? So, so an average person will have a 30,000 pounds a year income, but they have a dream lifestyle of 580,000, right? And again, like I said, we didn't even include everything we wanted to include, right? So there's a, there's a challenge, right? There's a problem, right? Because the dreams we have are a lot bigger 
than the income that we have, right? Now, when you have this type of situation, um, there's actually two solutions for this situation. One solution is to, what unfortunately what most people do, is then to shrink your dream cycle, right? So instead of having this huge dream cycle, we start shrinking it down in order for it to match our income cycle, right? So our dream car for 50 grand uh, disappears and appears a 12 year old Toyota for three grand. <laughs> our dream house that costs half a million pounds becomes a two bedroom flat somewhere, right? <laughs> that we're renting, right? We don't even own it, right? Uh, you know, traveling three times a year and spending 10,000 a year on traveling becomes one holiday every few years, right? <laughs> for a few thousand pounds, right? Uh, education, private education for children becomes state schools, right? Or government schools, right? Free education, right? Where our kids can get, you know, bullied and all sorts of things can happen to them, right? Uh, you know, having cool electronics in your home, you know, cool sound systems and TVs and stuff becomes you know, like unnecessary and we shove those dreams away, right? So what happens is that people, when they're young, they have big dream stuff, uh, big dreams, right? They want to live in a castle, you know, they want to drive a Ferrari, they want to marry a prince, right? And who do they marry? <laughs> right? Oh, I'm not going to get into that one, right? But the reality is that we start shrinking our dream, right? We start shrinking our dream lifestyle. So even though we wanted to have an amazing life, because our income doesn't allow us to have that type of lifestyle, most people will go for the solution of shrinking their dreams, right? Until they can fit in the income they make. And usually, then most of their dreams have to be sacrificed because the income that they make in their job actually only provides for survival, not for thriving, right? It's just surviving mode, not, not a thriving mode, right? So that's one solution, right? And unfortunately, most people choose that solution. I'd like to offer you a different solution, a second solution that most people don't use, which is actually to expand your income cycle to match your dreams, right? So instead of shrinking your dreams to match your poor income, to match your bad job income, why not expand your income so that it can match your dreams, right? For me, that's a lot better solution, right? Because now you can afford the house of your dreams. Now you can afford the car of your dreams. Now you can afford to travel the world. Now you can afford that education for children and so on and so on and so on, right? But then you have to do what? You have to change something, isn't it? Because if you keep doing your job for 30,000 a year or whatever it is, your income is gonna stay the same. So you have to then start thinking outside of the box. Where and how can I find ways to expand my income, right? So that my income gets to, you know, 100,000 a year, 200,000 a year, and so on, right? How can I increase my income that it could match my dream lifestyle, right? And in a job, in a traditional job, it is very, very difficult to do. If you have a job for 20,000 a year or, you know, 30,000 a year, it's very, very difficult to go from 30,000 to 300,000 a year in a job right but in a business on the other hand it's a lot more possible it's a lot more doable now it's not easy if somebody tells you that it's easy to go from 30,000 in your job to making 300,000 in your business um, I don't know you know they are a bit probably out of their mind right so it's gonna take some work it's gonna take some effort it's gonna take some commitment however it's possible at least it's possible there is an opportunity right because in a job world most likely, it's not going to be possible. It's not even like you could work for the rest of your life for that, for that company. They're not going to pay you that type of income, right? So you have to understand that. And even if you were able to get to those types of incomes in a job, that would probably mean you'd be spending 80, 90 hours a week at work, right? So you wouldn't be able to enjoy, even if you would own those houses and those cars, etc. you wouldn't have time to enjoy them because you're spending all the time at work, right? Working to make that money, right? Because you're in this vicious circle, right? Because you have to keep up the lifestyle and you have the income, right? In business, on the other hand, you get the opportunity to develop passive income, right? 
and passive income is where you develop the income and then you receive that income whether you get up in the morning or you don't get up right and that is powerful right it is like I don't know a job where you can come in the job and go hey what do I need to do which position do I need to get so that I could receive this income and not come to work <laughs> I've never seen a job like that but in business you can develop a passive income once you've built your business to a certain size where you have other people working within your business you can then take away some time you don't have to spend as much time anymore at work so you can enjoy that lifestyle you can travel you can you know enjoy spending time with your family and doing different things that you'd like to do right and that's really the the idea of income and dream cycle so ask yourself a question you know what do you want to do because there's a price to pay you either pay the price and settle for life that you have right now and just go okay I'll sacrifice my dreams and just live you know the life that I can afford that's that's one decision or you can decide to expand your income and to pay the price of building your business and reaching those dreams right which again like I said ain't gonna be easy it's gonna take some work it's gonna take some effort it's gonna take some time but if you're willing if you're coachable we can teach you we can show you how to do that right it's not rocket science right loads of people have done that right you can do it too right you're smart enough you're beautiful enough you everything enough right but you have to make that decision and then find a vehicle find a business that can help you to get to that type of income right and have the lifestyle of your dreams all right guys hope this is making sense if this made sense to you stick into the comments yes 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 right I want to know if this made sense any sense to you uh, if you got value from this at all etc now if you'd like to learn my 26 different ways how to sell more products and find more customers head over to titaniumsuccess.co.uk slash sales that's titaniumsuccess.co.uk slash sales where you can get my free audio training on 26 different ways on how to find customers and sell more products Hope you got value from this if you did get value from this feel free to share it with other people by a private message or on your group or whatever or you know to people who you think would get value from this type of training maybe it would open up their mindset maybe it helped them to see a bigger picture in their life etc thanks for your support thanks for all the hearts thanks for all the love i appreciate you guys see you at the top